Good afternoon while we adjust the camera. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carol. This is my daughter, Jennifer. We're the Two Tall Stitchers, and we're back to, to talk with you on episode 59. Wow, big number. Yeah. So we're... It's not the only big number in the last month. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. Yes. Um, but um, welcome. We're glad you're here. It's, a, it's Labor Day, so it's been fairly quiet. It's a gorgeous day. The humidity and the heat went away. We just ate back out, yes. ate lunch out back, and she was in the sun. I was in the shade, and it was nice and cool. It was lovely, lovely, lovely little breeze. And she combed her hair after, and I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what can I say? Oh, yes. So welcome. We're glad you're with us, and um, we'd like to say hi to some of our uh, new subscribers. We have Angela. Who's, who wrote us a note and said she was a new subscriber. Welcome. Yeah. Leah, Deborah, Tiki Tammy, Julie, and Margaret. Welcome to all of you and anybody else who might have subscribed that she didn't pick up. Not me. Yes. I'm not the one who does this stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we also had some nice mentions from Cross Stitch the Globe and the Stitching Owl. Okay. And we appreciate that. I have not had a chance to catch up on some of theirs, but I, I haven't know. either. I'm so and, far yeah. behind between everything we're going to talk about and the Olympics. Oh like, yeah, I'm way back in July. And now it's the that. US. Now it's the tennis. Yeah. So I'm yeah. almost finished with the Olympics, and I'm working my way through the tennis. But yeah. So, um, and also from the store, we had some people who came in. Tammy from Illinois came in with her daughter. They were on their way to a, a baby shower in Terre Haute, and kind of oh, nice. took a little detour and came over to the store and saw us. So that was nice. And it was the day that the Atomic Ridge show opened, so she had a very good time. <laughs> and then um, Janet came over from Ohio, and then Kathleen from my stitch group came in, and Lori, who gives me all kinds of tips about the dog, came in. And there was a lovely lady who came from Cincinnati, and I'm sorry I didn't get your name, but I know you're highly allergic to cats. <laughs> and that's why I didn't go in that one shop. So uh, okay. <laughs> welcome. I'm glad to have met all of you, and um, we'll talk about our quilt of the day. Oh, hang on. No, there's a couple more. Um, <laughs> we we met with the Sunday Stitchers. Um, two Stitching weeks, in Indy. Stitching in Indy yeah. group uh, two weeks ago on Sunday. And that was fun. They they came in the store and we got to stitch with everybody. And, and we had some good haul from that, which you'll get to see. Mm -hmm. And then also Anne from my, my library stitch group came into the store. So yes. hi to everybody. And so, I hear that Amanda from the Zionsville Stitch Group was also there shopping, but we weren't there. We weren't there. there. No, no. I was texting so. her about the fabric that yes. came in. Yes, because <laughs> it was great fabric, as yeah. you'll see. Um, yeah. Okay, so the quilt of the day is Jennifer's, and she'll explain yes. what it is. Uh, so first of all, I'll start off by saying I have no idea what the actual pattern name is. I looked through my notes this morning and clearly didn't write it down anywhere. What I remember, I started this quilt in either 2011 or 2012. So it's an antique? <laughs> no, it, I didn't start it in 2011. I started in 2010. I named this quilt, quilt Olympic Memories because it stretched over two Olympics. And during the first Olympics, I did all the cutting. And during the second Olympics, I put the quilt top together. Oh. So it was one I worked on here and there. Um, the snowball pieces here, the, the tan creams, those were part of an exchange. So we each got five names, I think. And you sent a five inch strip to each of those five people. And then you got five strips from other people. And the idea was to mix up your stash, do a little bit of a swap, and then um, make the quilt together. Well, I did the first two parts great, but then I didn't get the quilt made for a couple of years. I know that this, I believe that this was hosted by Nicole at Sister's Choice Quilts. And if you'll write her down, I will link her blog. She's a blogger and an Instagrammer. But I'll link that below. She is an amazing quilter. I still love following her quilting blog. And she's a big reader. And I get most of my book recommendations from her. So anyway, I called this quilt Olympic Memories. I finished it somewhere in the 2012-2013 time frame. It has hung in a quilt show because it has a quilt show label. Um, and it's a large lap size and it's generally out um in February because it goes with Valentine's and then it was also out this summer so that's our quilt of the day I quilted it 
with kind of an all over swirl and then a couple of blocks there's one over your shoulder here i don't think they can see it and there's one below the camera i like custom quilted in the white but that was hard and it took a long time so i didn't do a lot of that <laughs> this is much earlier in my quilting career so that's our quilt today yes so let's talk about life updates. August was a hell of a month. <laughs> yeah. It was very busy. Yeah. So last time we saw you was the end of July. We did warn you we might not be back right away. Yeah. Um, and then I, life happened. So for me, both my kids went back to school. So my son is now a senior in high school. That has started off well. Oh, He's believe. gone straight into tennis season. So we've been at tennis matches multiple nights each week and in the heat most weekends the heat. yeah they did cancel this week when it was really yeah, it was hot for us 105 uh, we recognize yeah, for nice. those of you in houston and atlanta <laughs> and florida it's not that kind of hot but it's indiana hot um so yeah lots of tennis we've started on college search activities he has not decided yet I'll let you guys know when I know. <laughs> um, Which may be the week before he leaves. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. <right. laughs> um, let's see what else. So school started. My daughter's back at Purchase College in New York. We I drove her back. Um, we drove out in a day and a little bit more. Moved her in. Went to a Broadway show. Saw Back to the Future. It was a fun show. Great special effects. Um Got back to her dorm after midnight and she had training starting the next morning. So I jumped in the car and headed home. It was the next morning, not at midnight. Yes, correct. Yeah. The next morning. <laughs> um, and I got home about 10 o'clock. Uh, it was a full long day of driving. 750 miles. Yeah. And then we had tennis the next morning. We were going to film that Saturday. And I think <laughs> no I way. called you and I was like, I, I have no gas, no gas in my tank. So we decided to postpone for a week yeah. and here we are. Yeah. And I'm trying to think what else you what want else? to talk about our stitching activities. Uh, yeah, we, in had, the we, last had, month? we had our retreat, which was successful as always. Mm -hmm. Um, cause it's run by such neat people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's also because we have such neat attendees. Everybody yes. who came is so nice. It's so much fun. We had a really, really good time and, uh, it was great. And, um, I got a lot accomplished there. I was surprised. So Me too. I have stuff to show. And, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we just had a generally good time. It went from Thursday to Sunday, so it was long, and which is fine. It was, you know, but it was yeah. just takes a big chunk getting ready for it and then unpacking when you get home. <laughs> which, <laughs> if you looked at my room, you'd think I hadn't done anything. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, that was good. And then in the middle of all this, um, we had a path down the side of our house that was made with just stones, not even stones or anything. And when we, moved, when we moved in 21 years ago, it was fine. But let me tell you, as you get older, it ain't. So we had new concrete paths laid. And uh, that was a big schmush because they they came, they got it all marked out and everything. And he was like, oh, he said, I'm looking at the sky. It really looks like it's going to pour. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I said, fine. So that afternoon, it was like today. Clear as a bell, not a cloud in the sky. The next day, he was like, yeah, it's supposed to rain, but it's going to go south of us. And the truck will be here at 315. So the truck came. They poured the concrete and at 345, the sky opened up. Yes. So <laughs> it was a challenge. Plus, they couldn't close the gate because of the forms. So you know who was out running loops in the front yard at midnight? <laughs> I was like, come on, Cindy, come on in. She's like, oh, no, this is fun. So yeah, so she went around and around. We got her in. I mean, she was fine. But, you know, it was like, oh, please. And I'm trying to think what else. Well, we had a stitching day with the Stitching and Indie right. group. Yep. Um, you'll see more from that because we both were lucky winners of door prizes, but we got to see uh, several friends there yep. and meet some new people. So yep. that was very fun. And then I had a birthday, yeah. so I'm wearing my special birthday shirt. You'll have to do the math, but <laughs> it's, it's not a year hard. ending in a zero. <laughs> my shirt is from Michelle, uh, Penny's daughter shares. It was a great birthday gift. And, um, yeah, I'm happy to be healthy and active and 50. Yeah. I'm not happy to be 50, but God, it's, that sounds it's an, old. It's a number. It's a number. It's but a number. It makes me it's, not it's happy It's actually to okay 50. because, you know, the part that really bugs me is when you have to check the new box. And this <laughs> box usually goes from like 40 to 49, 45, 
No, no. It, now it goes 45 to 54. Oh. So I got a while until I got to worry about <laughs> checking another box. <laughs> oh, and then one other thing that happened is Grace got sick. Yes, our dog has had a rough several weeks. She's hanging in there. Um, she was diagnosed with basically the dog version of vertigo. She has some gallbladder issues. We are working on getting her stabilized. She has improved a lot since the day it happened. Scary. Um, but it's not been fun. She was so. dizzy. She couldn't walk. She was falling over. She was yeah. throwing up. Um, she's such a sweetheart. Yes, yeah, she and we is. Don't want anything it's to been rough. To her. So yeah. um, we're working on getting her yeah. better so that she can continue to be a sweet girl. So you can see it's been a busy month. It's been, yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot going on. Yeah. So let's go on to questions. Yeah, we'll just move on past that. Maybe September will be a little bit. I'm not. I'm no longer going to say this month will be quieter. I remember no. when. So we had an exchange student when I was in high school, and he left in August and or July, and then my brother went off to college early. And I remember you saying, "When the boys leave, things will calm down." And here we are, thirty years later. <laughs> Hasn't calmed calm down, down yet. So I try not to say like, when this happens, then it'll calm down. But let's hope September is a little more Even low key here. than oh, August was. Yeah. Yes, yes. So last episode, <laughs> we asked you about scissors, something we have not asked about. And that was very fun. So we had lots of great answers, as always, and a wide range of scissor collection across mm -hmm. the group. So this will probably be a pie chart that I'll put up here, but we had the biggest number really don't collect scissors. They have just a handful maybe. So 33 people said, no, they're not a collector. They just have one or a couple of pairs. It was funny. We asked this question during introductions at our retreat and one woman said, why do you need more than one pair of scissors? You can't use more than one at a time. <laughs> And everybody else went, what? what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it was funny. Uh, then we had 23 that I put into the category of, yeah, I have some scissors, like not a collector, but not crazy, but I have a lot. A lot of those were people who like to keep them in each whip or who have been gifted scissors over time or got them at retreats, things like that. Uh, 17 of you admitted to having lots of scissors. Um, and then 11 of you are, I think, real scissor collectors. We had numbers where people shared in the 30s and 40s or where they bought scissors at each shop they've been to um, or they buy them by the dozen on Amazon. <laughs> this is the thing. It was so interesting because some people have a lot of scissors to try a lot of different brands. Some people have a lot of scissors because they're cheap and you know, easy to have one in each bag. Um, some of you really love one pair of scissors. Some of you don't care about what the scissors are. So it was very fun. But I pulled out some of the favorite brands of scissors and I'll just read those off and then you can go uh, pause as you will and go searching. So in no order, not even alphabetical. Uh, these were some of people's favorite scissors. Kai, K-A-I. Uh, Karen K. Love Buckley. Them. Those are specifically known to be very good for applique. And we do have a mix of quilters and stitchers who watch. So some of these may be more quilting yeah. scissors than stitching scissors. Um, a couple people mentioned pre-max scissors with curved tips. Um, Omni grips, gingers. Lots of people mention gingers. And a lot of people have gingers that have been passed down from uh, moms or grandmas or aunts, other family members. Fiskers. We both love our Fiskers. We went to a Fiskers factory in Finland one yes, time. Yes, we did. It was very fun. That was fun. Uh, Tula Pink. <laughs> a lot of people love the cheap snips that come with the tip on them. Yep. Uh, that you can pick up in just about any shop. Um, lift and Snip. This one has a notched blade, which the person said is good for frogging. I mm -hmm. guess you can yeah, whip those it, stitches you can out. Look it under. Oh, get under it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kohana, those are, I think, Expensive. one of the pricey ones. Yes. A lot of you have them and love them. I'm a impressed. couple of you have them and don't love them. <laughs> um, Green Bell Shears, which were noted for dressmaking. Uh, so Mate Rainbow Thread Cutters. Westcott Hinkle. Tooltron Sidehoppers. That name's interesting to me. Yeah. 
Uh, stork scissors. I think I think that was Nancy that mentioned the stork oh, okay. scissors. She's a friend of ours here. Um, and somebody said they get Japanese snips on Amazon because they can't get their fingers through the holes. So I guess they're just oh. ones that you oh, squeeze. squeeze. Yeah. 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 Um, so lots of great information on your scissor preferences. Thank you, everybody who commented and shared with us. I have to tell you, I don't consider myself a collector. But I'm sitting here looking at a basket on my table, and there's six pairs of scissors in there. Three of them Hang were on. my mom's. Hang on. I'm going to get the basket. <laughs> these these were my mom's, the orange handle and the white ones. Yeah. So I keep them. These are... Um, um, <sighs> surgery scissors. Surgery scissors. Yeah, surgery scissors. And these scissors. are pinking shears. Yeah, somebody else these mentioned their pinking could shears. could be pinking shears. These are my sharp... Batting, you can use those to yeah. get batting. And then another pair. No, that's more than I said. And then and there's another a couple pair of, more down there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's not, I, I hardly ever use them. are the paper scissors. Yep. These are the only ones you can cut paper with. Yep. If you're a quilter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you need to dust back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to dust the whole room. All oh. right. Uh, other questions. So last time you showed the baby, quilt. the baby quilt. Oh, there's two baby quilt questions. So you showed the one baby quilt that had like the pink, blue, yellow, and someone asked what the pattern was, and we pulled it, put it on the stack, and did not answer your question yeah. last time. So, so here it is. <laughs> it's chubby. Who's the by? The teacher's pet. The teacher's pet. Yes. TP number 002. Oh, I think chubby is the line. I think the quilt might be called five and dime. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah. 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 Sorry, we had it. Pulled. Really cute pattern. And yep. it just calls for five fat quarters and one and a quarter. Is that you one and a quarter? It. One and a half yards background. One and a quarter and three quarters of a yard for binding. Yeah. Great. It was baby great quilt, quilt pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's really, really quick. Yeah. Okay. Um, next question was also related to one of your quilts. So you showed your alphabet panel quilt. If you want to give it to me, I'll kind of hold it up a little bit. We showed this in full last time. And two people wanted to know what's the name of that panel? Where can I get it? Okay. The panel is uh, Colorama by Tracy English for Cloth Works. And I purchased the panel at the back door in Greenwood, Indiana, and they had a bolt of them. I don't know if they still do because it's been a while since I bought it. I bought two of them. One of them, that's the one I think that's going away, and I have another one finished just in case. Um, but uh, you could contact the back door, and yeah. they would tell you if they still have it. And, and they ship. And they ship. Yeah, yeah they ship yeah. a lot. So you They have an online store, but I don't think they have all of yeah. them. I think they mostly have kids. You'd be better off calling. Store. Yeah. Calling. Yeah, and if if there's an issue, tell them that I bought it, and Terry can call me or Linda can call me. Okay. And then Daddy wanted to know how's your knitting coming along. I guess we haven't talked about knitting much for your next joke. Okay. Um, <laughs> remember, August was busy, yes. and I've been working on a store model. I've been working on gifts and working on retreat, and no. You haven't been in it. Knitting Never much. knitted at all. Maybe yeah. now that it's cooling down, I'll think about it more too. Yeah. You know, it was yeah. so hot, and once in a while I would take it to. If I was working on socks, I'd take it to tennis. But it's too hot when it's ninety-five, and the index mm -hmm. heat index is one hundred and five. Plus, you're dying. Yeah. And so, no, I have not touched my knitting. I've looked at it, but I haven't touched it. Yeah. All right. Shall we go That's into all stitching? The questions. Yeah. All the questions. I have basically a whip parade for you guys today. It's and then I have a bunch of finishes and a couple of FFOs. I touched almost everything. I, I, I've touched all but one of my whips since we saw you last. A big part of that was the end of Stitch the Summer Olympics that Katie, the nap time stitcher, hosted. Oh, yeah. um, it was a great challenge. Enjoyed every day of it. Found some time each day to stitch, even if it wasn't very long. So... The first few I'm going to show you were just worked on for one day at a time. I've been looking for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the first one is Starry Skies. 
and this is by Cherry Hill Stitchery. And I am stitching mine on 28 count sapphire linen from Fiber on a Whim. This was one of their featured colors this year. And my mom generously let me cut a hunk off of hers. I'm stitching with some called for and some stuff to do to colors. We decided to go with whatever we had. So I've got everything except for the fireflies and the second tree in, I think. There are probably more stars that go over on this side. Yeah, there are. Um, but hopefully a couple, maybe three-ish days and nights of stitching and I'll be able to finish this one up. So uh, I really like it. It is a little bit tough to stiff, stitch on that blue, but it seems to be getting easier as I go. So that's my first whip. Wow. Do you have whips? Do you yeah, want to share? Mm. No. Okay. No, because I finished. Wow. Well, you finished both? Sort of. Yeah. Um, I've been working on my Lizzie Kate Sal with Jen and, and Mrs. AZ Family Zoo, and I finished the Sits for a Spell, which I don't have that card here, and then I started the next one, which is Brew, Brew Some Fun. So here are the two of them are. There's, this one is F108, Brew yeah. Some Fun, and Greet a Ghost. So there's my finish is the um, Sit for a Spell, and my start is um, Brew Some Fun. Are I you think that finished? may be finished. That may be a finish. Except for the line at the bottom. No, that's only... You don't stitch the line no, at the top and the no, bottom? No, no, not oh. when it's a, not when it's... Uh, the whole thing. Oh. Yeah. So actually, that's not a whip. The bottom difference. line is on here. Yeah. Well, then, not, the then, then it is a whip. Line. Then it is a whip. Oh, okay. maybe not. Maybe that's the next one. Anyway. <laughs> we'll see. You'll figure it out. <laughs> so it's either a whip or it's a finish. Well, it's still a whip because you haven't finished the whole chart. Yeah, but I finished the segment. The segment. Yes. All right. My next one is <laughs> Kaleidoscope by Yasmin's really Made pretty. with Love. And this one I just stitched on one evening, so I didn't make a lot of progress. This is on 40 mm. count butter. And here is where I am. That's a lot for one night. No, I had already started it. Oh. I just added two. I think I did the, the what is it, an octagon? One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Yeah, the octagon part. I might have done those little blobbies inside of it. Um, so yeah, I got to get back to this one. Are you using the called for color? I am using the called for colors. I may run into some trouble as it gets lighter over here because I go into light yellows and light greens. So we'll see how those work on this fabric. I may have to make a couple of substitutions, but so far so good. Mm -hmm. So that is coming along. Hopefully that will get more stitches this month. And then you have no other no, whips? Not really. I don't think so. Did you finish that one? Uh-huh. No way. I know what I'm looking at. You guys don't know yet. You're going to like it. Okay, next one. Robin Pickens Winterly Sampler. This one is on my frame. I'm not going to unroll it, but I, I think I just worked on this section one night. I think that was one of the Stitch the Summer Olympics nights and it was a night I did not have lots of stitching time. Otherwise I would have finished that up. But this one is absolute joy to stitch. I still love every stitch of it. It is on 28 count antique white Lugana, I think. Yeah, that's Lugana. And it's a store model, right? And it is a shop model for Persnickety. So this one is probably what I'll finish next, but who knows? We'll see. I'm going to put some dedicated time into it this month to get it finished up because this is the last shop model I have that I'm stitching on. So for now, yes, at the moment, I still have shop models I need to FFO, but it's the last one I'm <laughs> stitching on. This also was a one nighter works by ABC 324. I am stitching this on, I think it's 20, 28 or 32 counts. Uh, here it is. It's a Lugana. Silvery Moon. 32 count Silvery Moon Lugana. And over two. Yep, two over two. And 
our friend brought me, thank you, you know who you are, uh, a card of all the colors that I was missing from, this is from the first section. So I, I'm actually, I think that's what I worked on last time is finishing out those from page one. And then I got a couple of colors into page two. And there's where we are. So I have finished the first page of it. And I'm working my way across to page two, which will come like all the way over here. And then I think I'm going to work down because I think colors that I will enjoy maybe a little less are on this side and what I'll enjoy more are on that side. So love working on this one and look forward to getting back to it. And then this one, this is a surprise to us both. So this is a pro I still like this project, but for some reason it does not call to me. This is Begin Row by Bent Creek. And I started this, I think over the holidays or maybe it was my New Year's start. And then I just haven't gotten into it. But one night I felt like picking it up, so I did. And guess what? I stitched a tree that I didn't have to frog. <laughs> that, that was the problem. That might be why I'm yeah. not into it. So that's where I am on Begin Row. This is on 32 Count Medusa's Gaze by Lappin Loops. You're almost so, halfway. Almost halfway. Really? Well, the E. E? Oh, no, you're not. No, I take it back. No, I'm that, like this a is about third halfway. of the way. No, she's not. So one of my trees is still in the wrong spot. I'm not going to tell you guys which one because it's probably going to stay there. It needs to come down two rows. Um, but I think I'm probably going to leave it. We'll see when I get to the end. If it looks silly, then I'll go back and fix it. But that's where I am. I am making myself stitch the trees before I stitch the letters. Otherwise, I'll have all the letters done like <laughs> and have to go back for the trees. So I think I spent like a night, maybe two nights on this, maybe one night and a little time the next morning. But I tell you, you know what I love on this? Putting those little birds in. They're so cute. Oh, See yeah. See the little birdies? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. they're cute. So that's fun. And then you get to go back at the end with backstitch and give them a little beak. So that's begin row. I have on my WIPCO board, stitch five days on your oldest whip. And based on something you'll see in finishes, this I believe is now my wow. oldest whip. I'm gonna have wow. to double check that against the crystal reindeer. So I'm, I'm getting- Oh no, up. the crystal reindeer are older. You've had it's an older pattern, but I started it on Christmas. Oh, and I, think well, I was just I thinking how long you've this. had the stuff for it. No, 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 no. If that counts. If that then. counted, then yeah. <laughs> we're not even going to go there. Um, so we'll see. But I'm gearing up. I'll be ready when that five days on your oldest whip comes up. Speaking of crystal rain, did you, I was stitching on that yeah. this morning. And this is Prancer. He is the third reindeer. And he's finished. It was great to have Monday morning stitching after Sunday morning stitching. So there are the three of them. Dasher, Dancer, and Prancer. Those are fancy and horns. And we'll go in on Prancer. And he's in greens with holly leaves. And this is on 36 count white. What's the sparkly stuff called? Sparkly stuff. Yeah, white sparkly stuff. Linen. Can you see the sparkle? I don't know. And I love it. And I think it's turning out great. It's cute. I am. He's darker than he looks in the pattern. A pattern. little bit nervous because I have to fit five more reindeer. Ooh. And I'm just before my halfway point. Ooh. But we'll, make, somebody who we'll make it work. It may go right up to the end. <laughs> I folded the fabric in half like six times and it should work. I won't have as much of a seam allowance on the other side. Um, Cutchy. I know. Sticky. I know. Living on the edge. And then the other piece that is part of a series that I worked on is my Lizzie Kate piece. And I am looking for the pattern, which I clearly put away. Okay, this is on 32 count Meadow Rue by Lakeside Linen. And this is the one I finished. 
keep the air clean. And when I have it all done, it will look like that. So there are six charts. This is number four of the six. And then I'll go in and add the words at the bottom. And Ooh, looking good. I love this. So happy to finally be stitching this. So there we are. We have our little birdie, our snail, and our mushroom. So next up is eat locally and then save water. So cute. That is coming along very well. Just shove that all in there. And these Lizzie Kate charts are still available from is it? One, two, three, stitch. One, two, three, stitch. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all my whips. Okay. We I have, have some finishes. I have a finish. Oh, you know what I didn't show you? I was going to show you it early. It was previous finishes. Oh. Yeah. And it's down here hiding. So I brought it up last night to change it since it's September. As far as I'm concerned, I can do it. But this is the um, autumn alphabet. And I don't know how much of it you can actually see. But um, I had spring and I never got around to putting summer in. So last night oh. I thought I'd get autumn in early. Yeah. But yeah, so that's been done for a long time. Actually from 2017. Yeah, I stitched this one also in mine. I made mine into a bell pole. Yeah. 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 So I, have I all, don't put autumn out yet. I have all four seasons done. Well, I do because otherwise it'll be winter and I still have spring out. I have a bunch of camping theme stuff that I've stitched, that you've stitched for me. So oh, that yeah. goes out this time of year until, I don't know, end of, until it gets cold. Once it gets cold, then I switch over. Okay, this is called The Lighthouse. And at our last retreat, um, our friend Beth brought in a bunch of kits and uh, patterns and projects and everything. A woman had passed away and someone in her family had given them to Beth and she said, I don't want any money for them, just take the ones you want. And that's when we talked about um, how I count to five, if you remember, that was one of those things. And this was one of them and it's called The Lighthouse by Bent Creek. And I've always liked it and I really wanted to work on it. So um, I put 17 things in my project bag for retreat. And um, most of them were most of them whips. were whips. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. and so guess what? I didn't press it, but it's done. Nice. It's all finished. And I did, Jennifer said, you better do that lighthouse before you do all the letters or you'll never finish the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. And I did, and it worked out fine. Oh, it looks really yeah. good. I haven't seen yeah. it yet, so now yeah. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna peruse it. Yeah. yeah. And we it's were concerned so... about the color of fawn, which was on the lighthouse, but it yeah, really shows no, up fine. It shows up well. I thought I might have to backstitch around it, but it doesn't. Yeah. And it came I mean the lady had Oh the, A B C. Yeah, A B That's S E A. Cute. Yeah. And the lady had all the threads with it too. And it, it, it had been around a while because the weeks was only $2.10. Wow. <laughs> oh, it looks really good. Yeah. So I was going to try and press it, but I just realized as I pulled it out that I hadn't pressed it. But um, nice. yeah, so so I have a finish, believe it or not. Yay. Don't faint. Do you want to mm -hmm. talk about your project cards? Did you make those up or did you? Get no, them? I copied them from somebody. Oh, okay. So I don't think I should talk about them. Okay. There. But she has project cards, so you can tell us the fabric that yeah. it's on. It's see, they go back like this. Yeah, and it, it, it it's uh, uh, got the pattern, the designer, start and finish date, stitch count, uh, the count, you know how the high the fabric, um, the uh, type of floss, and any notes. Yeah, and nice. so I I'm keeping the spreadsheet, and I'm doing pretty well on that. This Good, year. but this is something I can carry with me, so that if I get carried away and start something, or finish something and shock myself, I yeah. have it with me, just so I know. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll show them in a little bit, but our friend Kim, Kim gave us some cards you could put on the back of a frame piece. You could just tuck that in to that card. That's one of the things we got to retreat that we could find. No, she gave it to us at the Stitching in Indy Day. Oh, okay. It's hmm. with my stuff from that day. It might be in there. I don't know. Okay, don't finishes. Know. I had a bang up retreat, you guys, after I went to StitchCon and... I started things all weekend or worked on big whips. I brought stuff to this retreat that I could finish. So and I did. I had three. And we had a bell there. Yes, I added a bell. <laughs> we took a bell. It was very fun. Uh, I think only a couple of people rang the bell. Three or four. Yeah, it was fun. So the first finish I have is Love Blooms by Counting Puddles. I'm stitching this as a shop model for Persnickety. 
and I'm gonna have to figure out where she got that hoop frame because I really like it and yeah. I think that's how I want to finish mine so if anybody knows let me know because I don't on there I don't think so see. but I, I can reach out to her mm -hmm. no it's not on there I'll reach out to her She's on vacation. so um here it is this is stitched with all the DMC called for colors on 28 count pearl gray linen. The shop model is stitched on a light green and I we didn't have anything that was a good match for that light green in our shop. So I picked this light gray, which is almost a gray green. There's just a little issue with some of the um, shadowing stitches you know kind of across the top but i think once i put in the french knots it worked out and you could see where everything oh, yeah, goes no, it's, so, it's fine yeah so great. that's my first finish and that will be finished into a hoop and we'll go into the shop as a shop model it was a very fun stitch that's my first counting puddles piece it was a well done pattern very easy to read simple color palette but um just looks great i think very <gasps> really pretty, nice yeah. design my second one is a start that I had during Stitch the Summer Olympics, and now it's a finish. So this one is from this National Parks and Monuments, Badlands, Devil's Tower, Grand Tetons, and Yellowstone. And I think I said this when we filmed last time, that now these are sold as individual, it's these four charts, and I think they're sold as individual cards. We have a couple in Persnickety. She was selling at the last market, but she was also moving and trying to sell out all of her inventory. So I'm not sure What's available. what will be available or what will happen going forward with Open Road Abode. I stitched this on a fabric I didn't write down. I think it's a Lugana. I think it's 32 count. I apologize, I don't know the colorway. It's one of the ones that I think I got when Fancy Works closed. Um, and I stitched it with Classic Colorworks Bean Sprout is the green. And then the brown, can you hold it for just a second, is from one of my other projects. And it's a color in cotton. It is, I decided to stitch that buffalo in the brown to make him pop. Color and Cotton Coffee Bean is the brown. So this will be made into an ornament. I think it turned out really nicely. It was a quick stitch, easy to follow. You know, everything that's just one color, I think goes faster. So that was finish number two at retreat. And I actually finished those, I think on the same day. <laughs> oh, thank you. And then my third finish was a stitch along with my friend Beth. I don't have a cover photo, so you don't need it because the whole piece is finished. This is the Doreen Jones Christmas Sal, and mine is stitched on 32 count mint Lugana Splash, and I love how it turned out. I decided to fill in the backgrounds across those middle ones. I debated about filling in behind the tree, but then I would have had to fill in the whole snowman to balance it, and I decided this is good. So we we put in our last stitch Hold it together, closer. and closer. there. Okay. We started it together at our retreat in April, and we put our last stitches in together at our retreat in August. And it was very funny because she was going, she's like, okay, I have four stitches left. I was like, wait, I have 17. <laughs> like I would be ahead and then she would be ahead. So anyway, we had a good time and then we went up and tried to ring the bell together, which was just pandemonium and yes. we got a good laugh out of it. Yes. So that is my Christmas sal. And as you can see, I have lots of fabric left, so I'll be able to use this for something else yeah. as well. Yeah. Are you going to frame it? I don't like know pillow, yet. Or... I think I probably will frame it. Um, I have a lot of Christmas stuff, so I gotta figure out yeah. how I can finish it. But you can even display it, it. it. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any more. It might be cute as a big stand-up. 
Yeah, I was just going to say, I don't have any more standing space. Oh, okay. Because I ran out last holiday season. <laughs> so it'll probably be framed so it goes on a wall. Oh, God. More? Yes! Okay. And then after retreat, I need two more finishes. So the first one is Sweet Spring by Satsuma Street. And if you've been watching this, I was very close to a finish last Sunday when I posted it. And... Thank you, hot weather. One night of tennis got canceled. <laughs> and ta-da! That's what happens when tennis gets canceled. <laughs> so I finished this. This is, let's see. Um, this is a great fabric to stitch on. This is 16 count Mountain Mist by Laura's Fabrics. And I got this at the Craft Gallery when I went there last year. I took this pattern with me to find a good um, kind of jadey green. And this one just fit the bill. And I really like how it works with all those bright colors. So there's Sweet Spring. Oh, the funny thing. I usually wait till the very end to do my back stitch. And... We were watching TV the night that I was finishing it. And so I had finished the carrots and the three little parsleys maybe. And I had done the tops of the radishes. Somehow in my brain, I went to grab one of the pinks that goes down here, but instead I grabbed the brown. And so I did the antlers or the antenna on the butterfly, and then there's a little bit of backstitching in the bunny, and then the tail is backstitched. So I did all my backstitching, and I was like, Todd, oh wait, I gotta stitch the radishes now. <laughs> so at that point, it was late, I had to go to bed. So the radishes came back and got done the next night. But I really like this one. I love how bright and cheery it is. Yeah. Very fun pattern to stitch. I'll have to find something to embroider on those towels you brought two years ago. Yes. For Easter. <laughs> yes. Maybe bright colors that go with this. Yes. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And then my last finished object oh. was unexpected. Um, we had a turn tennis tournament Saturday and I took this with me and I almost always take something to work on and almost always don't work on it. But we were waiting, waiting, waiting for Jack's last match. And it got delayed because of rain. Everything got delayed because of rain. But heat. then he had played his two matches. Most of the third round matches had started. We were waiting, waiting, waiting. And so I said, I'm just going to pull out my stitching because if I start stitching, then he'll get called for his match. I stitched for five minutes and they called it. So then once I realized how close I was, I was like, oh, I have to finish this. Guess what, you guys? Holiday Wishes, a Janlin kit on perforated plastic. I do not recommend. I will never stitch on that junk again, but he turned out pretty cute. He's adorable. Here's Santa and he's all cut out so you can kind of it's see. all done. I did the cutouts behind He almost him. looks three-dimensional. Yeah. I, you look at you know beard. what? A lot of people don't like back stitching. It makes I don't fun. mind it. it if this pattern would not it would be, be nothing. yeah, this pattern would not be what it is without backstitching. I love it. I think it turned out so cute. And my big plan was to show you him and the other three today, but I can't find the other three. <laughs> They're somewhere. She's turning into her mother. <laughs> but I do have some statistics for you because I scrolled back in my Instagram when I posted him yesterday. I started the whole set. The reindeer was the first one. You want to hold this up? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So reindeer was the first one. I started him. Pull it back just a little bit. Yeah. I started him on February 7th, 2016. I finished him in 2016. I then finished. I don't have start dates for the other ones. I finished the penguin in 2018, two years later. <laughs> I finished the snowman in 2021, <laughs> three years. And then I finished Santa in 2024, also three years. So this is an eight year project, <laughs> eight and a half years, because I finished it on September 1st, started at February 7th. So you have to understand, she's going to make this for project. her cousin for Christmas for that year. For Christmas that year, I bought it. Yeah. And I don't even think I bought it in 2016. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyway, 
It's done! Hooray! If we only could find the there, missing parts. There are a few people who have reached out and have interest in this pattern. I am happy to pass it on. It is in rough shape. Okay. Um, but if there is somebody who would really love to stitch this, please send an email and let me know. If there's more than one of you, I'll put your names in a hat and I'll draw one. Um, and send you that name so you can pass it on to the next person. <laughs> yes. Yes, I would. Um, it might be eight years until the next person gets it. But this was, I just think it's adorable. I probably will need to save the cover picture until I FFO it. But again, if there's Just somebody a camera who's shot of it. dying, yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. But I, like I said, a few people have reached out with interest in that that's one. That's neat. So, yeah. Do so that's any... my four finishes. Wow, that's great. One, do you have any two, FFOs? Three, four, five, five finishes. Wow. I do. I have two FFOs. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Let me get this stuff out. <gasps> She says, ah, oh, like she hasn't seen it. It was at retreat on the show and tell table. You didn't notice it was no. mine, probably. <laughs> There's so much. There is so much. So much I didn't realize it yeah. was yours. Okay. Okay, so a while back, I stitched Summertime Berries by Erica Michaels. These are going to be shop samples. And I'm stitching these to the S'more Summer Please and Summertime Berries. And somebody I saw was just stitching this one. Was it you, Kim? I can't remember. And I stitched the, I finished the stitching a long time ago, but I just finished the berry now. And so there's the topper. I had these wool balls and big beads. And so that's how I finished it off. Kind of a funky topper. And there it is. My goodness. So that's my second berry finish ever. It's an art to figure out how to stitch these on. <laughs> that was my second Okay, so time. yours is as big as mine. Remember my berry that I did was so huge. I hated it, but yours, yours is about is the same size. Yours is a lot bigger than mine. Well, it's still big. Yeah. It's not it's one okay. of the little berries. It's okay. Not like Helen does. No, Helen. Helen's a good berry maker. Yes. Okay, and then my second FFO is My Forest by Teresa Smith. And you guys have seen me stitch this this year. And I finished this into, I call this a box frame. I got this at Michael's and I added names and a date. This will be a wedding present for my niece and her husband. They got married last April, April 23. So I'm a little bit late, didn't make it for one year, but I know they will appreciate handmade a handmade gift. His mom is a quilter and uh, my niece paints and I know they appreciate oh yeah uh, good work. So this will head off to them in Tennessee shortly. Hmm. And this was stitched with silk thread. This is 36 count, I think white or an I think it's antique white linen. Um, I showed it probably couple months ago when I finished it and shared all the details. So that is my second FFO. And I think that brings me to 12 for the year. Wow. I got to get going if I'm going to meet my goal of 30. <laughs> well, this was another one that I started at retreat and it's a Mill Hill kit called Mary. And um, it's got the beading and, and all that kind of stuff. And I worked on it at retreat and then I got all of the, um, so it doesn't need it. Uh, no, it doesn't no. need it. I got all the stitching done, and then last night I sat down and I had started the beading and nice. I finished the beading. So it is finished. And you finished, finished. It's fully it. finished. Ha ha, fully finished. Yeah. Don't faint. Don't faint. I did everything last night. Don't ask me what time I went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I just started on the beading and I thought, I'm going to get this done. Yeah. I'm going to get this done. Good. And then you saw me working on this, but I went and had it framed. This is another one of these frames that's metal, but it looks like wood. And this was the I Do by Bent Creek. And this is a, get, a wedding gift from May of 23. So I'm right around oh, yeah. with you. Oh, yeah. We're right together. So, and, and the baby quilt. The ABC baby quilt is for her brother, but I couldn't send that because the baby's only like five or six months old. And so I had to get this one done. Yeah. So that's my second fully finish. Nice. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. 
And then several months ago, one of our viewers, and I'm sorry, I did not look up your name. I just ran out of time, but sent me several snowmen, mm -hmm. finished stitching and everything. And, and I, a framed piece. And a yeah. framed piece. But guess what I did? I had a frame that it fit. So I took it to Michael's and I got it framed and I love it. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just love it. I think it looks so great. The frame fit perfectly. And I took it in on Saturday and they called me on Monday and said it was ready because I supplied the frame. Yeah. They didn't have to do anything. And so. this is, we think, Cricut collection? I think so. I think we I think it's a it Cricut out. collection yeah. chart. But isn't yeah. it lovely? So it thank is. you so much. That was so kind of you. It and is. I just oh, it love it. So Clothes good. make the man. And I just love it. And I'm really excited now that I actually have did get it framed because yeah. when I got it I thought oh I would love to frame that and then in the frames that we got from Fancy Works I was going through and I went oh, I wonder this one works. and it's perfect it's yeah perfect. that's great so yeah so, so will this go in the snowman bathroom or will it hang no up? it'll hang more where somebody will see it yeah because the snowman bathroom's up here yeah your father sees that nobody else does right <laughs> right so yeah no it's gonna hang prominently yeah. Be after Christmas, probably it'll be up. Yeah. Yeah. But I right. love it. I love it. Thank you so much. That was so generous of you to send me that piece. And I just am so excited to have it done. Yeah. Done, done, done. Yes. Any other finishes? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> She's nasty. <laughs> you might have something in your pocket. I don't know. You surprised me with the lighthouse and the little yeah, yeah. Mary. Yeah. You got anything in your pockets? My phone. Okay. And my key fob. That's okay. it. That's it. That's oh, it. Okay. I'm going to pause here and we're going to take <laughs> out Happy Mail, Winnings, Hall, lots of fun stuff. Okay. We're back with more stuff. Okay. My friend Pam um, lost her cousin. It's been seven years. Did you know that? Wow. I know. I was surprised. Oh, anyway, she was, like that she was helping her cousin's sister going through the house and... They found, she found this and she brought it home to me for what reason I can't imagine, but isn't he adorable? Look at him. And he's got an open bottom so I can put a, a tea light underneath him and he can, yeah. he can, he can. Uh, he's cute. Isn't he cute? And the best part, his arms are magnets. So when they fell off before, it really scared me. They, were, they aren't broken. <laughs> They're not broken. Nope. Yeah. Nope. You want me so, to put him over here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was, that was a gift. That was a gift. Do gifts first and then purchase? Yes. Okay. okay. I mentioned it was my birthday. Michelle gave me this great shirt. It is from the shop called Stitch Folk. I'm pretty sure. Michelle, if that's not right, correct me in the comments. But I'm pretty sure that's where this t-shirt is from. And then she also stitched me a lovely lovely piece and so this was my birthday gift from her the pattern is Teresa Kogut hey friend Nashville 2023 freebie and she stitched it on 40 count like light nougat by xju design and I know she loves xju fabric and she used her own floss conversion and adapted the hair so that it would look more like us and used favorite colors in the clothing so it would be meaningful mm -hmm. and then she added a 2024 charm and a 1974 penny so thank you so much michelle i absolutely love it this is going to go up in my bedroom i think so that was a wonderful birthday gift and then the other gift is our friend Kim came to the Stitching and Indie Day and she handed me this big envelope and she is getting rid of some fabrics. So she brought me Ooh. a nice selection of batik fabrics, great colors. Thanks a lot, Kim. <laughs> and two quilting magazines that honestly I haven't even looked through yet, Kim, so I can't wait to look through them. Although batiks might look good in that quilt. And then these are the project cards I mentioned earlier. So I'm pretty sure she said she got these on Amazon and they look like they fit an index card. And this part I think is removable. Peels off. Peels off. Yeah, it looks like And it. sticks to the back of your frame. And then you can put that inside um, 
put the index you can card put the inside, card the inside with all the information about your project. So Kim gave me a whole bunch of those. Thank you so much. That will encourage me to go back and put labels on the back of some of my things I've already had framed. My birthday's in December, Kim. Well, I don't <laughs> think this was birthday specific. Oh, well, this just in just case. This just general. Just in case. <laughs> Kim's so nice when she knows we're at the shop. She calls and asks, do you want a Coke? I'm on my way in. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, what's next? Um, oh, okay, gifts. I got from Esther in Denmark. Sent oh, me yeah. Sent me this pattern. And she said, she wrote notes on it because all the directions are in Danish. <laughs> and, um, and it's called... You will post. Yes. Uh, I think so. Yeah. 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 And Christmas it, mail. Yeah. And thank you so much, Esther. That was so sweet of you. When she told me originally how much it was going to cost to send, I said, oh, dear, I'll send you the pouches. She said, no, it's a gift. Don't worry. Oh, but I'm going to explore another way. Well, she explored it another way, and it was like five times more. So, oh, my gosh. So she sent it the original way, and it came, and it's perfect. And see, she even sent me a nice note with it and everything. So that was pretty exciting to get that. Yeah. And I look forward, and now you'll see that I do have a bunch of blue to do. Yes. And then when we were um, at the Stitching in Indie group where Kim gave it, we got this free pattern that says Stitching in Indie. And so um, if we want to make it like on a T-shirt or anything like yeah. that. And then at Retreat, Margaret, who is a horrible enabler. Yeah. <laughs> She's the one who got me on or the a sulky. fabulous enabler. Yeah, the sulky threads yes. two years ago. And yes. Well, you guys know that everybody brings magnets. What am I so doing? No. Um, and so Kim, uh, Kim, Margaret is from Iowa. So Margaret brought me this one. And she brought me this one from about Cedar Rapids. And the National brought, Czech and Slovak. Museum and yep. Library. And then this is from Cedar Rapids. And then she brought a sticker for both of us. We each got a sticker, yeah. I think. Yeah. So, yeah. So, thank you, Margaret. That was great. That was fun. And uh, it's always neat to get little gifty gifties like that. Yes. yes. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank and the you. other gift we got at retreat was from Teresa. Mm -hmm. And these are counting pins. And they're numbered, which is fantastic. Are they showing? Yeah. I can't see. Um, Move them up. Here, I'll hold this. Okay. Put them closer. There. Okay. Down. There. <laughs> so these are counting pins you could use to count and mark every 10 stitches. And mine, actually, mom's came with the kitty eraser, and she doesn't like cats, so I traded. And I don't remember what you wound up with. I don't either. But uh, yeah. but they're really neat because she stuck them in an eraser. It's an yeah. eraser. Yeah. And I said to Jen, what a neat gift for something like StitchCon. Yeah. For a retreat. You know, we're for a retreat, retreat if you want to take yeah. in anything. Okay, then. Go ahead. All right. Well, then I went up to um, um, Quilts Plus with Pam. And she's quilting them right now. But I have these really cute panels that are being quilted. One is for me and one is for my daughter. And all you'll see them probably next month. And... While I was there, I saw this pattern, which I just thought was really cute, the way it was that done. That is cute. And I thought... Is it little? How does yeah, it finish? Yeah, I think it's small. It's a... Uh, Mini quilt pattern, yeah. 12 by 15. So it's small. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. little. It's small. And I have a lot of batiks. Yeah. So I think it would look good with batiks. So, yeah, so that I got would. that. And then I got the backing fabric, which is really cute. I got that off the freebie table. Can't pass up a good Lizzie Kate. This is one I don't have. So that was on the freebie table at retreat. Oh, I took the one off the freebie table, but it's in my bag. It's a patriotic okay. one. I'll dig it out at some point. Yeah. And then, um, oh, I was in the store bringing, checking in, you know, come on guys. And this came through and I just thought it was really cute. It's a Primrose Cottage sip stitch repeat. So I got that and um, and some people think sip is for coffee or tea, but for you, it's wine. For does me. it have a little coffee cup on there? No. No. Yeah, it does. No, it does. You'll have to change no, that to a No, it's a pin cushion. Glass. It's a pin cushion. Oh, okay. It's a pin cushion. But either that or Diet Coke. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, and and I don't know if anybody noticed, but um, they have this pattern on the back for Christmas trees and stitching, please. And there's a typo. In the stitching? Nope right there oh that's okay <laughs> that's all right 
And then everybody I makes was, mistakes. I was watching Helen D, which I told Missy I can't do anymore. And she was working on these cute, cute little ornaments that she got from um, my, my fanny. And they were adorable. So I stopped the video. Oh, oh, oh that's better. Yeah, I stopped the video and ordered it and printed them all. Yeah, cross stitch pattern created by my fanny Italian cross stitch designer. Yeah. Did you buy these on Etsy? Yes, okay. I did, I did. Okay, so you bought that oh, one and that. printed it off. Oh, that was your and Did I show them this the last time? I think so. Okay, well, just in case I didn't, Helen was also, Helen D was so all Helen's this too. Fault. And Again. I thought that was really cute. And for some reason now all of a sudden I'm into lighthouses. Yeah. So I bought that one too. And this was stitching in. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so then oh, one more. That, then we'll my that. friend Jane, who's in my stitch group, uh, is Quilting Bee, um, has decided she's probably not going to do much wool work anymore. And she has enough wool to start her own store, like some of us are with other things. And so the other day when I was up there, I said, oh, I said, we could use those to finish berries and stuff. So she let me go through and I picked up all these little pieces Excellent. and look at them. So I figured between the two of us, there's got to be something in there we'll be able to use. Yeah. And she's got a lot more, but it was a good start. That's a good start. A good start. Nice. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Not your turn. Okay. Stitching in Indy. Uh, we had a, an afternoon of stitching together. Mom and I went and opened the shop. It was the beginning of the Atomic Ranch Fiber trunk show at Persnickety. And then we went across the street and we stitched for a couple of hours. And we both won door prizes. It was very <laughs> exciting. I think mine was one of the first, first couple ones, yeah. called. And I won this great project bag. It's a Halloween bag. It's got Halloween fabric on the back. And this was made by Rose. And it's a great bag. It's bigger than what we normally make, which will be Is nice it? to fit in a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, chart if needed and then inside the bag was this fat quarter of 36 count guardian linen from fiber on a whim which is a perfect which is Halloween a color. great color yeah, yeah that gold color is fantastic so that's what i won and then they went through all the door prizes and they got to the grand prize and guess whose name they called <laughs> It was mine, but I didn't realize it. <laughs> I thought there was somebody else named Carol. Yeah. And I'm kind of looking around and everything. You won, you won. And I was like, I did. <laughs> so anyway, I got the, one of these new little boxes, which I always thought I would never need. Now I do. <laughs> and it's really cute. It came with a lollipop and a sled holder and a coaster in there. And, and I think you have to... I use that to open that. Well, set it down because I can't. I don't think it does. All right. Then yeah. it had um, a tape measure and a little brush and um, a threader, needle threader. You can't see it, but it's it's a little pink needle threader. And then some huggers, a hugger. And then it had um, what is this? Oh, this is some hand sanitizer. It came with that, and it came with. A tiny Rubik's cube, which is cute, and then it also had some chai tea in it, which somebody took immediately, which is fine because yes. I don't drink chai tea. Yes. So I won the grand prize, and I decided what I'm going to do now is I've gotten a lot of small things given to me and gifted to us over the years. I'm going to keep them in here, where I can find them instead yes. of sticking them in 27 different places. Good idea. And the fact that it's magnetic, I can put a lot of my needle miners on here yeah. too. Yeah. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, so that was exciting. You could also put needle miners on the inside Sides. and stickers yeah. on the top. That I could do too. Because we've right. gotten lots of stickers too. Yes, good idea. So Yeah, good so idea. that's our winnings. And all that's left is what we've bought. Mm -hmm. And as we've mentioned oh, a couple of times. I did show you a couple purchases. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, I showed this one. Um, we had the Atomic Range Fiber trunk show, show at Persnickety, and it was really fun. For the month of August. And we had to reorder twice 
because it went so well and we want to thank every single person who came in and supported that because yeah. that was really on us we were the ones that <laughs> recommended that the owner do a, a trunk show for fabric she had not done that before she was a little bit unsure if it would be successful it was very successful thank you all very, very much, much. Very, very and much. when the we first box came in it was huge yeah and by the end of the first weekend we reordered and then we reordered again yeah and we had it for the month yeah and we'll be talking about more trunk shows yeah. for yep. linens and, and fabrics. So we'll show you, we'll go back and forth, but one of us will finish earlier than the other one. <laughs> Just showing you the different fabrics that we picked out and purchased as part of the trunk show. So let me start since I'm going okay. to finish last. Okay. okay. This is 28 Count, Count Lugana and it's called Bayou. And it's a very pretty kind of a gold color showing up more. It's a great color. It's a, it's it's a, a really great dark color. neutral. And what did you get so, at? Half? I got a half yard. Half. Half yard. Uh, this is 28 count linen Esmeralda. And it's reading as a black, but it's like a really it's inky, a dark, green. dark greeny blue. Yeah. It would be great for a night piece yeah, or really pretty. anything with a dark background. This is 32 count linen moonstone, ouch, with a needle. And so I just, you know, I have this thing about blue. So I got that. Mine was a fat quarter, all mine are fat quarters. Okay. That this was a fat quarter. Fat quarter. And then um, pistachio, this oh, is mm -hmm. 32 count Lugana. Love this color. Kim put me on to this one and it's a beautiful color. Me too, 28 count Lugana pistachio. Same thing. Was yours 28? 32. Oh, okay. Mine's 28. Yeah, mine was 32. You must okay. have bought the last of the 28. She got two before I did. Uh, 36 count Bayou. So this is the same one that mom just showed oh. in a different fiber. And this, that quarter. Yeah. And that I have, I think I have a project in mind for that one. And this is 32 count Lugana Clover. And this was a fat quarter. That's really pretty too. It's really, really pretty. Let's hold it up next to the... Yeah. So you can see they don't play that different, I would say, on camera. This one's a little bit lighter. The yeah. pistachio is a little lighter and the clover's more of a brighter green. Yeah, well here's my yeah. my pistachio is yeah. It, still on still yeah, it doesn't show up doesn't but show on camera it doesn't show up yeah. as, as white. Both are pretty greens yeah. if you need greens. Go ahead. Oh, okay. This is a uh, thirty two count ocean sand linen, which I thought was That's really, really pretty. pretty. Really it's got pretty. a little brown in it. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's just a, a it looks like sand. You know what would look great on that? A lighthouse. Oh yeah, son of a gun. This is thirty six count weathered stone, which is a neutral with a little bit of kind of brownie green, maybe a tiny bit of blue in it. It's a really nice neutral. This is twenty count Ada Joy Lynn. Which is really Oh, you fell in red. love with the Joy yes, Lynn. Yes, yes. Yeah. And this is a, a quarter yard. Okay. So we were talking about the Joy Lynn. I, are you sure that's Ada and not... It says or you said Ada. 20 count Ada. 20 count Ada. Yeah. We were talking about the pears. Who does the pears? Annie Bees? Kim. Annie Bees, yeah. Annie Bees, pears. She's released several. They would look really nice on yeah. that Joy Lynn. Yeah. 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 Yep. And then my last one, this is a 40 count linen. This is the colorway parchment and it is a nice neutral, actually very similar to the creams in my quilt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this one, I might have an idea for what I want to stitch on that. And too. this is a 28 the count, count Lugana Lestrange. Mm, which has a nice dark gray. Nice, pretty dark gray. Yeah. And then <laughs> that's an 18 count Ada. Fox. Yeah. And that's another one I thought for a Halloween mm -hmm. stitch that would be so neat. Yeah. Yeah. So then this is 28 count Lugana Nevermore. I got a little carried away. Is this black? I think so. Yeah. I think because you very hold close it next to, to mine. Wow. Look yeah, how look at, mine yeah, looks. Yeah. 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 I yeah. think this is So a that's nice Nevermore. Black. I just thought it was a neat black. Yeah. And there was more, but we didn't take it yeah. all. This is 18 count Ada vanilla cream. That's a half yard. Yeah, it's a nice neutral. Yeah, with just a really little lovely. bit of color in it. Really mm -hmm. pretty. Okay. 
This one, oh, this is a pretty one. 36 count vapors. Half yard. It's a very light gray. What is it? Um, what kind of name is Lagana? Or? It's a linen. Linen. 36 count linen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the last one, 16 count Ada Mellow Stone. And that's a half yard. Half yard, yeah. And that's really pretty. And it's different yeah. than this one because it's a little... It's a creamier. little creamier. Yeah, yeah, see. Yeah, this one's mm -hmm. creamier. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I got a little carried away, but I really liked the Tom Ranch fabric, and the colors were gorgeous. They were so pretty. And I couldn't pass them up. What can I yeah. say? What yeah. can I say? So, the benefits of working at the shop. She yeah. looked at them all month. <laughs> when I was opening the box, I went, <gasps> and she said, no, you cannot buy it all before the customers see it. I was like, oh, darn. <laughs> so... Um, Okay, giveaways from the last episode. We had my daughter's bookmarks to give away. I have no idea where the bookmarks are, you guys. I'll talk to her after this. I can't remember if she left them on her desk for me to mail out or if she took them and I'm sending her the information. So either way, our two winners, please email us twotallstitchers at gmail.com with your address confirming you are who you are and uh, let us know you're over 18 and then I will work out with her how they get mailed to you. <laughs> um, so our two winners were AG Weather, was, Weather one. was one and I think that's Anne. I clicked through and I think it got to something that said Anne but if this is your handle right here you won one of the bookmarks and the second one is Karen Barnes. Oh, hi so, Karen. Yeah. 627. 627, yep. yep. So those will be sent to you once we hear from you and figure out who has them. And Karen, if you're going to be in the store in the oh. next couple of weeks, just drop, put that in your oh. email and, and I'll have it at the store okay. for you. We won't I didn't even have know to mail she it. comes into the store. Yeah, she comes oh, up to nice. visit her dad in okay. Fort Wayne. Okay. So she Good. stops in the store every time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We could put it in the special order bin yeah. for her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to talk quickly about Whipco. I forgot earlier. My whip go board's coming along, you guys. I have quite a few X's on it. August were number 15, Jenna's Choice, and she chose an older FFO I've been putting off. And I will She's get still to putting that. It off. I'm, no, I just haven't even had time. I did those yeah. two, and I have two more that are kind of started that I haven't even been able to take the time to go down and finish. So I'm I'm hoping next weekend or the weekend after, I'll have some more time that I'll get to some FFOs. I have two that are good candidates for this that I could do. So I still need to do that one. We talked about finishing and, and I said, I have some things and Jennifer said, well, we'll do it Labor Day weekend. Well, guess what? It's um, 4.30 on Labor Day weekend yeah. on Monday. Yeah. And so much for that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> And then my other August was number 12, crochet, and I started a new crochet project. Oh. And I did this as one night of Stitch the Summer Olympics as well. It was funny, both of us were stitching, stitching, stitching. We didn't talk to each other about it, but we both wound up doing non-stitching on the same night. I crocheted a new bound a quilt. Yes. yes. So this is Pocket Monster Vampire Dracula. And these are from Blue Rabbit Toys on Etsy. Very cute. I did the Frankenstein last year and I got a good start on Dracula. There's his little, there's thread still hanging, but that's where the peak in his head is. Mm -hmm. And I got all of his face done and I'm starting on the pants now. And it's coming along great. So I have to finish the bottom, the cape, the bow tie and his legs and arms. So that is my August. And I think I can cross that, that off because I didn't say finish crochet. No, I just said, said stop crochet. crochet. Yeah. And I did. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So that's my whip go. And so for me, I did bind a quilt, um, two quilts actually, but you're going to see them. So I'm not going to show them to you. Yeah. And then today, um, Shannon came over and we, I embroidered the towels for the tennis team. Um, I've done that in the past, the seniors. Mm -hmm. And, okay. And so here they are, they're done. And uh, she'll, will sew the, that we have um, uh, label patches. patches that will go on underneath their names. So we got those done today. 
yeah so that was my my embroidery project so and i got some quilting done so that's shocking i loaded a quilt back onto my quilt frame and then found i had no bind uh, no batting so <laughs> i went and bought batting you were with me yes when we bought batting yeah. and a lot of you commented on my daughter starting crochet she showed her little woobles kits yeah the same time we went to joanne's she picked out yarn and it started a sweater so mm -hmm. last crochet. i saw it it was it was about that much of a sweater when she left for yeah. school so we'll see how much she went straight into her first show so school started on monday and rehearsal started on monday so she probably won't get a whole lot of no. it done in the month of August or September, but then maybe she'll work on it more. And she checked in on Thursday done. because Friday she went to training because she's going to be a campus guide for the incoming students or the new students. Which one? Admissions. 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 She'll be giving so tours. So she'll be giving yeah. tours. And yeah. then uh, the other night I really couldn't sleep. It was Friday night, Saturday night, Saturday night, I think. And mm -hmm. I was not, I, I, Early I don't know why. Sunday morning. So I was awake uh, about four o'clock in the morning and I just kind of looked and there's a thing from Jenna that she likes something and I posted and I was like, what? And then I looked, I thought, what are you doing up at four o'clock? Well, it turns out they wanted to get tickets to a show on Broadway and they had a limited supply for people under 30. Yeah. So Jenna and some of her friends in their ultimate wisdom awakened at 4 a.m., went down to the city, got online at 6 a.m., for the ticket house to open at noon, at mm. noon. So for six hours, they sat there, ate crap, and yeah. got tickets. Ate Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. But the best part, she ran into her high school theater <laughs> teacher on Broadway. She's there for the weekend. She and her husband had gone to see some shows. And I, I had known that she was going to go, but I never connected it. <laughs> Well, Jenna posted a picture of sitting and waiting, and her teacher saw it and came over, and they got a picture together. Oh, is that how they sit? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So that was very fun. This is the one who like inspired her to get into technical yeah. theater. So oh, is that neat? It was very I didn't know cool. How that happened. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, and she saw the show last night yeah. and said it was very good, and now she wants to see it again. Standing it was room only. The Outsiders is the one she saw, yeah. and um, now I'm going to make her read the book. Maybe I'll give that to her for Christmas. Oh, that would be yeah. nice. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Back to Whipco. No. Oh. <laughs> I kind of finished, but I didn't finish. <laughs> My picks for September are number four, which is just FFO. So I will FFO something in September, and you'll see what that is. And then number 11, which is work on an unfinished quilt top. So I have my reindeer. I have a couple of other quilt tops oh, yeah. that are not put together or not completely put together. So Hopefully I will get some time to work on one of those as well. I will not get some time. Now that things are going to slow down since Jack's back in school and Jenna's back at school. Hopefully I will make some time. Are you traveling at all much? Not planning to this month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No plans on September 2nd. <clears throat> we'll see what happens over the course of the month. So plans over the next few weeks. I want to get some FFOs done. I just want to spend some time in my sewing room. I haven't spent much time down there. And in the stitching side, I want to work on some of my bigger projects. I am really happy to have gotten my whip count down to a more normal number for me, which is around eight or nine. But I'm ready to get moving on some of the bigger projects so that I can get those closer to a finish. So I'm going to try and put maybe not multiple days in a row, but spend at least four or five days on each of my big projects. I'd like to get another segment of the Lizzie Kate done. I would like to make some good progress on Kaleidoscope, 324. I would love to finish my Robin Pickens piece. So those are some of my yeah. priorities for September. That'll be great. And like I said, no plans right now to go anywhere. Although there's a family camping weekend at the very end of the month. So no, we'll see. That's not too bad. Yeah. What about you? What are your plans? Well, um, since they poured the concrete they, and there's now nothing around it. <laughs> So that's my project this week is to try and get and line up some at least dirt and mulch and everything and, and get some get the yard straightened up a little bit. And um, I'm trying to think. Well, with um, <laughs> embroidering with Shannon today, things got a little messy because we started on her machine, which was quite small, and we wound up switching to my machine, which is larger. And then I had to start digging for some things. And 
my box fell over. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be that could be an all day project. Yeah. And um, well, now you have your new cobalt tool case that's going to fit everything in your room, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, for sure. And then um, I don't know. I, there's just some things again. You know, I don't know where the summer's gone. Fast. It's been busy. It's gone very, it's gone quickly. very and quickly. August especially was a crazy month. And yeah. so September is, is going to be maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, cross your fingers, a little slower. Yeah. And I can get some stuff done and we can get some stuff done together. Oh, yeah. So that's what we're trying for. And yeah. then tonight we're going to celebrate the big birthday for the my baby. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't believe it. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that means I'm going to be old too. But... Uh, <laughs> yeah, somebody else has a big number birthday this year. Oh, yeah. Scary. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it. I, I mean, you it. just... I do have one request. Our last couple of episodes have not had the same volume of views that most of our previous ones did. So I'm concerned that some people have been missing us. I would appreciate if you guys can hit the like button, if you can leave a comment, you generally do with a question of the day. So I appreciate that. Also, if you're someone who shares what you're watching, if you'll just share us on Instagram, I'll put up a post once this is live and then you can share that if you follow me um, or snap a picture of your TV or your tablet or whatever, show us yeah. what you're stitching while you're watching. Cause I want to make sure that people who want to see us that like we're coming up recommended in their home feed and our recent yeah. episodes have been quite a bit lower in terms of views. So I'm, I suspect that, Wonder why. I mean, it was it really busy with too. the Olympics and summer and all of that. Yeah. So it could just be that, but also I think more activity on it helps get the views because yeah. the YouTube algorithm is a mystery to all of us. And then if you're really lucky, they'll start breaking in with ads in the middle yeah. of it. <laughs> yeah. So we don't yeah. control that. We have, we have no control over that. Yeah. I think it's more fun than watching somebody all of a sudden blah, yeah. comes in in the middle of it. But then you pick up right where they left off. So it's yeah. not terrible, yeah. but it's challenging. It's funny how yeah. sometimes you get a lot of ads. Sometimes you get no ads. Like yeah. you can't predict. Yeah. But anyway, we have a question for you to answer. That can be the comment that you leave us. We uh, got this question from Jeannie, who's one of our viewers. Thank you, Jeannie, for sending this in. And we want to know about how often you use called for floss and fabric. Are you faithful to what the designers call for and you always use the same things? Are you a substituter, like whatever I have in the house? Do you like to switch it up because of favorite colors? Let us know. Uh, we'll see how I can make this into some kind of chart, but uh, tell us what you think about using called for floss and fabric. Yes, super. Yeah. Well, um, we've come to an end. I hope you're still with us. We we had a lot today, yeah. especially a lot of fabric. Uh, <laughs> but we've enjoyed being spending time with you, and we want to thank you for coming. And if you're a new subscriber, we hope you stick around and come back and hit the subscribe and the like button. And um, now we're off to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Yes. So you can reach us um, by Gmail, twotallstitches at gmail.com. You can watch her on Instagram at Jen Quilter. I am at Grand Stitches. She probably posts more than I do, but um, I try. <laughs> so we thank you for spending the time with us and we look forward to seeing you in three weeks with number 60, which maybe that'll have a giveaway since it's a 60. Yeah. So it's a significant number. Yeah. Not mine, but whatever. <laughs> or hers. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.